Today I have this LED flameless set that I picked up at Christmas Tree Shop for $14.99. I paid a little more for mine since it had a remote. This way if I keep it up on my mantle, I can turn it on and off um, remotely. And today we're gonna to be using Christmas blocks. And I am taking three images from this particular tissue paper. Now these candles do have a wax finish, so you could do this on a regular candle if you wanted to, um, or if you already have the LED, no need to go buy new ones. You can use ones that you have around the house. And I'm starting by just measuring out my first uh, image, and I'm starting with the tallest candle. Now, just a little tip, I use my one hour enamel on a regular basis. So I grab these uh, ketchup bottles um, from the dollar store. They come in a pack of two. And when I'm low in my can, I add them, add the one hour enamel to this bottle uh, as a holding place. Now, I don't recommend this if you use your one hour enamel sparingly. I go through mine quite quickly. So it's just a convenient way of holding it and adding what I need into um, a small plastic container. This brush has become one of my favorites. I'm starting by applying the one hour enamel. You can also use our varnish for this particular project. And this first one I'm doing in sections. Make sure you use your saran wrap to get the wrinkles out. As the paper does become delicate and you want a barrier so that it doesn't tear as it gets wet. Now to make the seam less visible, you want to try to cut it as close to meeting each other as possible. Sometimes I like mine to overlap just a slight bit because once the paper dries and shrinks, you don't want to have a gap there. Same method you would use if you were wallpapering. Again, I'm using the saran wrap to rub the wrinkles out and to make sure that my paper has full contact. And then at this point, I'm putting my second layer of the one hour enamel. This image has a pine cone on it. Again, I am measuring out what I'm gonna need. Applying the one hour enamel. This brush has become one of my favorites for applying one hour enamel on my varnish. It's called Simply Simmons number 50 and can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. Again, the saran wrap just helps uh, adhere the paper and uh, work at the wrinkles without damaging the paper. And then the last step would be to add your one hour enamel and set it aside to dry. Now, after doing two, you come up with uh, better ways of doing things. So this one, I made sure that I cut it out uh, prior to applying it, cut out my paper prior to applying it. I created a stand to set my candle on that I could easily spin it. And then this way I could do the entire candle in one shot. Again, the saran wrap helps get the wrinkles out. And then I add my last coat of the one hour enamel.
and then set that aside to dry. Now, once everything dries, you want to get a, um, this is about a hundred grit sandpaper and you just go around the edge very gently because you don't want to hit the, the wax and you don't want to ruin the paper. So you just kind of like really hitting that edge and going around the top and then the base. Here's it lit. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateupfancy.com. For any of the paint brushes, tissue paper, transfers, paint, or any finishing products, chocolateupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.